hello, beautiful people, beautiful people. I am back. I'm back. Thank you so much for joining me back on my channel. Um, for you guys who are new here, welcome to Monday Night Motivation. For all you OGs, I'm so sorry that I've been gone for so long, um, but there's been just so much that has been happening. So, like I said, welcome to Monday Night Motivation. Um, tonight, there is a motivation behind it, um, but there's been so much that I, that's been going on in my life, and I just want to share with you guys what what I've been doing. And so, um, I think, um, God, I've been gone for like a month or so, and I think that... Um, you guys all knew about my TikTok and, and how I went viral on TikTok. And it has taken me to a whole nother, into a whole nother direction. So I guess my motivation for tonight is to just, whatever it is, don't think about it, just do it. Um, Do it and see what happens. Don't be afraid. Um, just go for it. If, if you feel like it's, as long as it's something positive, if you feel like it's in you and you want to do it, just do it. Um, so um, I went viral on TikTok because I was filming the homeless out here and it has turned into such a, such a bigger, bigger situation than I ever thought that I would, that I would come across or be in. Um, so after that video, um, I was still um, filming a lot of the issues um, that are around my apartment and where I live as far as the homeless. And I just got tired of, um, I got tired of the fact that they could do whatever they wanted to do and not be held re held accountable. It's not about living in a tent. It's about outwardly doing drugs, trash in the city, stealing things, um, stealing from people. Like, it just was crazy. And I was just like, wow, these people are just not being held accountable. Now, sometimes, you know, it is a situation where one bad apple spoils the bunch um, not everybody who are who is homeless in Seattle are a problem, but you know it's it's a it's a predominantly it's a huge problem. So started filming that, and then started doing community cleanups. So a friend of mine, her name is Deb. Um, she reached out to me because somebody was doing a community cleanup. Her and I went to the community cleanup and it was like, it just felt so good to like get out there in your community and do something because um, if you're following me on TikTok, you know that there's a lot of people that are like, you're in a blue state and you know, your government has to do something more. And I, and I just disagree with that. I just feel like our government hasn't done enough for us and now it's time for us to get back into our communities and kind of put our money where our mouth is. So that's what I did. Um, so I went and did one community cleanup um, with Seattle Compassion Services. Um, and that was, um, it was just, I just felt so good. Because not only were we, were we cleaning up a certain area, but we we're also helping um, some of the homeless clean up their area. And they were active and helping us clean up. So it was like, it felt really good. So then I did another community cleanup and that was with um we heart seattle um that was downtown on 10th and that was a huge cleanup um if you want to watch my cleanup you can go on my tiktok and see that and that was even that felt really good because even the homeless people were out there helping us clean up um and so then there was a huge fire of a young kid his name is orion there was a huge fire and um he's 21 years old um just a really nice kid um i used to talk to him all the time and see him around he has a dog named colby and um it's alleged that 
there is someone in Seattle that is um, starting these fires, allegedly. So he lost everything. Woke me up four o'clock in the morning, tent on fire. He lost everything. Um, so I decided to try and do something for him. And I reached out to my, um, to TikTok and to Facebook and I created a GoFundMe, um, for him. And, um, some people donated to the GoFundMe. So those people who have donated it, donated to the GoFundMe for Ryan, I really, really appreciate it. Um, there's, um, some people that are sending clothes and shoes. And I mean, this, this kid lost everything. Um, so I will put his GoFundMe in the link. And if you guys can donate, um, to kind of help this young man get back on his feet, um, I greatly appreciate it. Um, if you can donate clothes, shoes, I'm not saying money, like donate anything. Um, he also has a dog. It's not, he, he, and he is not asking for any help. I'm asking for him. Um, so I'd like to see him, um, uh, try to get some of his stuff back right now. He is in shelter and, um, he's working on getting his, um, his ID and his social security card to get a job. And so it's just been such a honor and such a nice feeling to be able to reach out to a young man who um, is in my community in a tent or not. He's part of my neighborhood and um, he lost everything. And um, so it, it he, he, he's 21 and he was just down on his luck. Um, one of the things that really struck me when I talked to him was that he said that he was tired of starting all over again. And another thing was that he would never live in a tent again. So that was, that was, I, I'm just so excited to see him do, do better. Um, so, but I'm also really, really proud of myself, um, because, I have put my money where my mouth is and I have gone out and I've talked to homeless people and I've been out in my community and now I'm trying to help Orion and um, tomorrow um, I'll be going to like a um, like a, a community talk uh, where we could talk about problems in our community, how we can do some uh, block parties or block watches and certain things in our area. Um, because as you guys know, in Ballard, Seattle, it has gotten really terrible out here. Um, so I guess my, it's so good to be back. It's so good to be back and talking to the camera and talking to you guys and getting back to my YouTube. Um, because I really want um, my TikTok and my YouTube to go hand in hand, but I also want to be able to do some fun things and for you guys to see the authentic me and, um, to, uh, continue to, to, to bring you guys content, um, that, uh, may be boring to some, some people don't want to sit and hear me talk in front of a camera and, and I get that too, but I just want to share. I, I just feel like sharing so much of what's going on in my life. So, um, so yeah, get out there and be a active member in your community. And I mean, get yourself involved in knowing your neighbors. I remember when I was younger, um, my parents, uh, we would have block parties and my mom would bake cookies and, you know, we could get to know our neighbors and our neighbors would get to know us. And it was just, it really felt like um, a family outside of your family. And so that's kind of what I want to get back to is to not keep my head down and be like, you know, I don't know you guys and, and move on about my day. Um, I really want to kind of get to know my neighbors and to know where I live and my community. So that's what I challenge you guys to do is to get out there, um, um, say hi to your neighbor, uh, wave to your next door neighbor, introduce yourself to them, um, let them know that you're here to support them if they need anything. Um, I'm not saying like bake them cookies or go up in the house or anything like that, but just a formal introduction of what your name is, what they're 
their name is or their wife or husband or, you know, whatever the case may be. Kind of get out of your hole and just get to know your, your neighborhood because, wow, once I did that, and I guess my frustration with the um, with the the homelessness, the the stuff that was going on in my community, really compelled me to um, compelled me to uh, film that trash over by my job. And now it's 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 changed into me really wanting to get to, into my community and do community cleanups and help people. Um, to try to help people get off the streets. My next thing is that I really want to try and get into some of the food banks and um, trying to help feed the homeless and and um, and um, be kind of like um, help them out to get resources and and things like that. So um, so yeah, that's that's what I've been doing and it's been great. It's kept me busy. Um, it's, it's kept me humble. Um, I've met so many awesome people, um, um, moving forward. I've met Eric who runs, uh, the, uh, the Seattle Compassion Services. I've met Andrea who is, um, the head, um, person who runs We Heart Seattle. And it's just been, and I've, and I've gotten to really get to know my friend Deb through the cleanings, uh, the community cleanups and stuff. And so it really feels like I've created a community. So I'm really excited about that. So, but I haven't seen you guys in so long and I can just go on and on and on and on. Um, once again, I'm not going to be editing my Monday night motivations. I'm just going to let them roll. Um, I don't say this enough in my videos. I realize that I don't. Um, please like and comment and subscribe to this video. Um, it, that it really helps me with the algorithm. And plus, I want to, I really want to interact with you guys and, and hear, um, what you guys have to say. Um, because while I'm learning, I hope you guys are learning something from me. Um, so, and I think that's part of the reason why we're here is to teach each other. Um, so anyways, Thank you guys so much for coming back and riding with me. I know that I'd be in and out. I'd be in and out of this. Um, I have put more of my focus into my TikTok versus my YouTube, but now um, I'm going to find try to find a way to um, to do both. Um, so, and I'm still doing my t-shirt company. Um, so we'll be talking about that because I just got done doing a basketball team. Um, and I will try and show you guys pictures and film um, and some of the um, things that I film for that on T-Shirt Tuesday. So thank you guys so much. Um, I will see you on the next one. Bye.